Deco. Directed straight at you. Yeah? Directed straight at you. There was no talk to them stitches in your head in December, in January when you wanted, to, when you wanted Danny Christa. None at all. So stop talking shit. Yeah? We was all right at the point. Yeah? We was friends until we asked for certain things that you couldn't produce. It is what it is. Don't mind all the fights on. So you don't have to say, I thought we was friends and I thought we was this and all you've got to do is accept and you're going to make my name and this and that. I'm not interested. Man in your fight is on 120%. Yeah? So look at it like this. You tried doing a shady move, all you done, for, all you done after I called you out, all you said is the only man I want, you, you, your neutral man, the only one he wants is DC, 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 DC. That's all he spoke about. You can't have DC unless the public want it and DC wanted it. DC got back to me and said, Dean, you know what? I want it. And I said, I said, it's that same to DC. The public want it, I can make it happen. If they don't want it, it's not happening at 3D Fight Club. So yeah, you have got the fight with me. Now I put a challenge out there to you and everyone knows you went missing. Everyone knows for the world to see it. You blamed it on mental health. Oh, I've got mental health. You got me at a vulnerable time in my life. And what? We've all been vulnerable. We've all got, we've all got mental health. But we just got up and brush it off and that's what men do to get on with it. They don't bitch about it. Life. If you can't handle life, mate, go back to your bedroom and your mum's. Simple as that. Yeah? Fucking prick. Now let me tell you something. I challenge you. You went missing. You got more excuses than Santa Claus turning up late. It is what it is. Couldn't give a fuck. Yeah? But I'm telling you now, our fight is on. On. Yeah? Then you put a challenge, you went on a podcast, or on a live podcast, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Do you know what I said about grasses? You say how it is, is grasses nonsense exposed. You said a lot of bad things, things about a friend of mine that died not long ago. And you said that he says the right things. That's another reason why I'm going to beat you facing. Facts. Let me tell you something else. And then you said to him, I was offered for a fight and didn't turn up. Okay. But I would have I've gladly accepted Dean's challenge. Dean was talking nice to me on the phone and X, Y, and Z. Okay. Then you put a challenge to Dean Lynch Ward. So now Dean Lynch Ward accepted your challenge. You didn't think I was going to accept it. You're going to, you thought I was going to run back and forth, back and forth. That's why you've popped up. Eight weeks training. Two weeks notice to fight them. Okay. The fight's on. I'm going to give you a date. Like I said, I come out the other day and I don't hide from no man. The only man that scares me in my life is God. Anything after that, I don't give a fuck for. Yeah, God's the only man that scares me. Yeah, and that's a fact. You don't fear me and no other man fears me. Two arms, two legs does not fear me, but God scares me. That's the only man that has power over me is God. Yeah, not you. Challenge, like I just said before, your challenge is accepted. On the 20th of March, you're gonna get your, you're gonna get your date and you're gonna get your location. Yeah, everyone's saying, oh, my ass is going. My ass will never go, never go. I fear no man, and especially a man like you. If I was feared, I wouldn't have fucking shouted you. And saying it's a publicity. What was publicity stunt? What was it? What was the publicity stunt? Let's rewind it all the way back. You was the one that come to us for help in the first place. You daft cunt. We didn't come to you. You came to us for help because you were scared to have a straightener in your own city of Carlisle. Well, guess what? I'm not scared to have a straight in my city of Manchester. But you, you had to come to all the way to Manchester because you were scared to fight a man in your own back garden because that's what kind of man you are because you're a pussy. Yeah? I'm not scared to fight no one in my city. But it is what it is. Stop making videos talking shit. The fight's on. I'm telling the world now, Dean Lynch Ward, the fight is on. He's going to get his fight date. Yeah? He's going to get his location. The fight's on. I ain't backing out on no fight. But I'll tell you what I'll do. You challenge me. Challenge has been accepted. I'm going to give you a location and a time for us to fight. You are going to turn up and you are going to fight. Stop saying, oh, all I'm going to do is this and all I'm going to do is that. You will never bluff me because I'll always turn up and I'll always fight. You've challenged me. I've accepted it. Like I said, I'm a bit tied up at the minute, which I am. I've got a lot going on. Not just me, the team around us. I've got quite a lot going on. But I said to you, you know, the night, the morning after that, you're going to get your date announced and I am going to fight you. I'm going to land on you and I'm going to do you. Yeah? Take care. Stop fucking beating around the bush and make sure you don't use mental health and any, no excuses. Even if I get injured in training for you, there's no excuse, I'm still turning up, the fight's on, yeah? People saying in the comments, I'm, I'm shitting myself, my ass is going, my ass will never go, never go, because I fear no man, no man, trust me. Yeah, the fight's on, say no more, yeah? Keep training, be lucky, and I'll see you soon, Sean. Stay blessed.